Hey everybody, welcome back to Dave's Small End News. Today I have my, well, new to me, Toro Snow Commander. So far this thing has been awesome. Uh, it's pretty neat. It's got this uh, self-drive mechanism that engages the, um, the paddles, which kind of pulls the unit along, actuated like this. As this is a new to me unit, it's uh, used to somebody else. And one of the big problems that I was noticing is that when I was pushing it, oh, probably need some lubrication on that part. Um, I guess you can't hear that when the two stroke is going. So when I've been pushing the, or, or guiding the um, snowblower across the sidewalk, on the edges of the sidewalk, it will jut, it will grab, it will, um, it will catch. And usually that ends up with me either, you know, falling into it or kind of a rude, uh, a rude awakening to the arms and it's just really not that pleasant. Plus, it's really not good for, um, for the, you know, structural integrity of the snowblower. So I started poking around, I started looking at what the potential issue could be and I think I found it. And uh, I did not know this about uh, single stage snow throwers. On a dual stage, on the metal chute, there are skis or shoes or uh, skids, some people call them, to have the edge of the chute up off of the ground so that it doesn't catch on um, edges and, uh, and sidewalk cracks. And that's the exact same thing that's going on here with this snowblower. So I called my local Toro dealer, um, $7 a piece each. Uh, it was weird to me that they looked different, right? Like you'd expect um, the shoes to be uh, similar on either side for a dual stage, but this is the, uh, the left and the right for this snowblower. So let's get them put on. All right, well, this is a pretty cool moment for me. Uh, this was a Christmas gift from, uh, from a relative, the Milwaukee M12 3 8 Stubby Impact. Um, as you guys have seen in my other videos, I'm a DeWalt guy, but the more time goes on and the more tools and availability and specialty items that um, I see that Milwaukee makes, it really makes me um, feel like I should make the conversion. So that's what I've done. Hoping to pick up some more M12 stuff as time goes on. So it looks like this has been worked on before. The, let's do the left side first. Um, snow blowers are subject to rust, like a lot of rust, because obviously they're blowing snow and in that snow there is oftentimes road salt or salt from sidewalks or, or driveways. So when I'm working on a snow blower, any, um, any of the nuts and bolts, I always like to give some blast or two just to make my life easier when I take the the hardware up. So there we go. So I think it's been worked on before. I think this has been out. I'm not sure if this is the original hardware, um, but it's the 7 16 on the outside. So, ooh, it's exciting. Pretty excited for this. It's fresh. Oh yeah. Okay, okay. So, on the outside and then wrench on the inside. And this is like, you can see this, this is what's left of the, um, the skid or the shoe or the, the guard, I think is what Toro calls them. And you can actually see the damage from this being worn out and banging on the sidewalks. Without further ado, here we go. Oh. Okay. Felt pretty good. Okay, that should do it. Okay. So successful, but corroded for sure. Let's see what we get now. Okay. This is all pretty beat up here. That's not good but it looks like it actually attaches behind the, the outside panel here. Uh, okay, and it's probably not removing very easily because of this is, this is pinched over top from constant hitting. So I might need to help that with a screwdriver. Flathead, I'm thinking. Ah, 
Okay. So there we go. That is uh, definitely used and needing to be repaired compared to the new one. Yep. So this is nice and stiff. That is not. I don't want to disturb it too much. I just want to get this back on. What I'll do is I'll get the top bolt in. There we go. And I will work it down. Lucky, this stayed in there. So we put it on like this, twist it by hand, make sure it's not cross threaded, and then zip it back on. Now, I had it on setting two to break it free, but I'm just going to put it back on setting one. I'm not used to having settings on the impact, so that's kind of cool. good a condition for a very long time but I try to keep my stuff clean so there we have it the left side is done and what we can see here is that nice smooth guard it's for for when any cracks come along or any sort of obstructions it should just skate right over top of it and not a lot of uh, damage to this I might hit this with some black rust paint just a quick, uh, quick spray, just to prevent any further rusting. There we go. Cool. Now the right side is really easy. Um, I already had this off because these parts were on um, on order for a couple weeks and uh, I wanted to use the snowblower so I actually modified this lowered it a bit to help it from catching on the sidewalk um, now that I have the new one in here let's throw it on it's super easy it's two Phillips screws now let's see what a used one versus a new one looks like okay what's the orientation here just like that. So that's the difference between worn out completely and a nice guard. So I guess this is these are wearable, which would make sense. It's a wear item. So they're probably meant to be replaced. I would say this is long overdue. Now I had that modified, so let me just make sure I have the right orientation here. Let's see what the contour is. Ah, there we go. I think that's better. That's the way it's supposed to go. So let's get a Phillips in there. Don't tighten it up all the way. There it is. Ah, <laughs> look at that. Just put my hand in the fresh paint right on this side. What a dummy. All right. Didn't have the wet paint sign up, obviously. 
wash that off. So now you can see guys, we have the guard on this side protecting the chute and as well on this side. Maybe a little bit more on that side and let's touch this side up too. If you're running a bit, obviously, I used it this morning, so it's a bit wet still. Cool. Looks great. So there we have it, guys. I've got the new guards or skis or or um, or shoes, whatever you want to call it. I've heard them all sorts of different names. Uh, installed on my Toro Power Commander. Uh, I think it's still snowing outside. I've already done the driveway once today, so I'll get the chance to try it again later on tonight. And I got to use one of my new tools. Super happy with that. Uh, every time I walked out and saw them uh, sitting on my bench here, I've had a smile on my face, uh, knowing that I would get the chance to use them soon, and today was that day. So super pumped about the Milwaukee M12 stuff. Uh, Donnie Boy 73 that's all he uses, along with the M18 stuff in his shop. This is all the stuff you can get, M12, and even more M18. So sky's the limit. Um, pretty happy about that. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Uh, hopefully it helps somebody out there. It really isn't that difficult to uh, to change the the shoes or the guards. Um, it was weird that they were different, but uh, it might not be on your application. But uh, yeah, take your time. It's definitely a job you can do. And um, thanks for watching. Take care.